Is that a guy? There's just a dude. Did he help? And they... Yo, this dude just like pulled a Batman on me. Today's video sponsor is GGG Mobile. Where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. So it seems that the new DLSS 3 has actually been unlocked for the previous RTX cards by some user on Reddit, uh, actually saying that he used the DLSS 3 on Cyberpunk 3 with the frame generation, so basically with the fake frames, the predicted frames, using the, um, the flow accelerator. And as we all know, NVIDIA introduced this as a kind of a killer feature for the RTX 4000 series, something that wouldn't be presented on the RTX 3000 and 2000 series. So it was basically um, a feature just for the RTX 4000 series, okay? And it seems that it wasn't hardware locked as it can be used by older generation cards as soon as you bypass the software layer, which was done by this user on Reddit, okay? It was already stated before by an NVIDIA engineer that technically the LSS3 with frame generation could be used on older hardware, but if it was actually used maybe it wouldn't perform as well, so the performance difference wouldn't be that great. And of course, the frame generation may, could possibly be crap. I mean, the frames would be even worse than they are right now, okay? And this is what an NVIDIA engineer said, not me. It is there, you can read it, so yeah. But this happens because the previous generation, the previous generation cards already have the optical flow accelerator, which is basically used to predict these frames or to create these fake frames. So if the optical flow accelerator is already on the previous generations, it means that technically the hardware supports these new features of the DLSS 3 with frame generation. But it's Nvidia, so they obviously locked the frame generation to the current cards in order to for it to be kind of a, a sell point of the RTX 4000 series. Not alone in terms of raw performance, but also a sell point um, with the LSS3 and these high FPS, okay? So that's it. Now, NVIDIA DLSS 3 frame generation lock reportedly bypassed RTX 2070 gets double the frames in Cyberpunk 2077. As you can see, NVIDIA recently introduced its new DLSS technology that adds a new feature known as frame generation on supported GPUs. The company officially said that this feature was only available on their new GeForce RTX 40 series, but it looks like a Reddit, a Redditor, Redditor, a Redditor has bypassed the lock and enabled it on an RTX 20 series graphics card. Like I told you before, it's a software lock that they have because they have the hardware presented, the optical flow accelerator is always uh, presented because it's hardware sided on the, the RTX 2000 and 3000 series as well. The Redditor, who goes by the username JustDax, posted in the NVIDIA subreddit under a thread talking about the new settings and features being added to the Cyberpunk 2077, uh, one of the upcoming features within Cyberpunk 2077 will be the LSS3, which enables AI-assisted frame generation that does wonders in boosting frame rates. Yes, it does wonders in boosting frame rates, but at the same time it gives you artifacts that somehow Global, f not Global Foundries, oh my god, somehow Digital Foundry says isn't perceptible uh, while playing, at least on Marvel Spider-Man, which I find to be, mm, you know, that mm -hmm, kind of doubt, doubt, because, well, there are people that say that they can see black smearing on VA monitors, uh, while others like me s can actually see the, the black smearing and they think it is disgusting, and I believe that that same 
specific scenario will happen with the LSS3. Some people won't be able to actually see the frame generation bugs, the frame generation uh, artifacts, but others like me will actually see those artifacts and will completely ignore the frame generation using the LSS3 alone without uh, using the frame generation like I told you before. Um, yes. The user says he was able to bypass the DLSS3 lock on older GeForce RTX cards by adding a config file to remove the VRAM overhead in Cyberpunk. Interesting. Actually interesting. Using the VRAM overhead, removing the VRAM overhead, we can actually use the um, this setting. I don't, I don't really know how it works, but it seems interesting. He ran the game at 1440p with HDR off and the LSS set to balanced mode. He was also able to select the frame generation tab under the ultra ray tracing settings preset. Hmm. Now this is the post from Reddit that you can see here on Reddit, just X. I will read it from Reddit, okay? The LSS frame generation doesn't seem to be hardware locked to the RTX 40 series or 4000 series. I was able to bypass a software lock by adding a config file to remove the VRAM overhead in Cyberpunk. Doing this causes some instability and frame drops, but I'm getting around 80 FPS on an RTX 2070 with the following settings. 1440p resolution, HDR off, the LSS balanced, the LSS frame generation on, ray tracing ultra preset, uh, he says also that he gets from 35 to 40 FPS without frame generation and the LSS at quality and at it he forgot to add some details. Since it isn't prepared to be used on older generations, well, well it uses, it causes some instability and some frame drops, but that may be also be due to removing the VRAM overhead in Cyberpunk, so we don't actually know. What this means is that way, way more mods are possibly coming uh, to enable the frame generation in other games, which is very nice to know. This is a possibility. As for the rest of the news, Without frame generation, his NVIDIA RTX 2070 gets around 35 to 40 FPS, as said, but with the LSS3 frame generation enabled, the user got 80 FPS, which is, which is not correct. We can't say that it doubled the performance. We can't even say that because in one is using the LSS balanced, uh, when he's having 80 FPS, around 80 FPS, he's using, he's using the LSS balanced, while he uses with 35, 40 FPS, he's using the LSS at quality, and even with the LSS normal to balanced, he should have around 60 FPS, so maybe like 30, 40% performance increase with, um, with the frame generation, which is not that bad actually. Um, now, we have the optical flow accelerator, like I was telling you, let me see. yes, in big images. Um, hardware, software, we have the AI frame generation and it uses the optical flow accelerator that is also presented on the previous RTX cards. So it is technically possible, as you can see, NVIDIA is just cutting it uh, in order to use it just for the RTX 4000 series as a selling point. Because although the, the RTX 4090 is a huge performance increase, the RTX 4080 isn't that great. Even, even more if we consider the 4070 that was called 4080, 12 gigabytes now, which is even worse uh, in terms of price performance, okay? You just, you, you are way better just getting a 3080 or a 3080 Ti. Um, but yeah, basically that's it. So this isn't the best news of the world, of course, but it is interesting to note that this may lead to way, way more mods like we have, for example, the FSR mod, the, the, the LSS to FSR mod in some games like Cyberpunk, uh, where we can actually even get the FSR 2.1 mod from the LSS to FSR 2.1. This may actually mean that we will actually be able to use the frame generation in older cards such as the RTX 2070, uh, the 3070 and so on, meaning that people uh, having um, really low FPS numbers can use the, the frame generation and the LSS3 once they actually use these mods, okay? This is just a simple mod where he, where he used the, the config file to remove the VRAM overhead, but it means that with uh, a proper bypass, people can use the frame generation in all RTX cards, which is 
a very, very good thing for the community. Uh, and although NVIDIA is doing, uh, it, it's kind of, they are disrespecting the users in so many ways. So many ways. Look at this. They are pricing the cards completely higher. And even the, the RTX 1490, which is an absolute beast of a card, it performs crazy, crazy good at a very good power draw. In that scenario, I was wrong. I thought the power draw would be way, way higher. Well, it is complete, completely insane if you overclock the card. It will go to over 600 watts. But in terms of normal performance, the power draw is fine. The card is an absolute beast. It's an absolute unit. Um, but once again, sixteen hundred dollars, and in real in real world, it will be it will be something like eighteen hundred dollars and above. So in terms of price performance, it is not a good value. Okay, but that's normal for the top tier cards. But even if we go to the forty eighty sixteen gigabytes, and even worse if we go to the forty eighty twelve gigabytes, these cards just aren't good value. You are better off getting a previous generation card used or even new in some stores, and you'll be way better in terms of price performance. So if users can use this frame generation, the new technology on the older cards, NVIDIA will sell even less new cards, and they deserve that because they are treating customers poorly with pricing and uh, by cutting features that could be added to the previous generations. But AMD is doing the same, not in the same level, but they are doing the same indeed. Uh, for example, in terms of FSR, they are supporting all cards, which is a very good thing. But for example, in terms of the RSR, the Radiant Super Resolution, they are not supporting all cards. In terms of the, the X11 optimizations, we are past five months and we still don't have official the X11 optimizations for the older cards, such as the RDNA 1, so uh, RX 5000, Vega, RX 580, 570 and so on. So they are doing the same on different levels, way, way better uh, than NVIDIA because NVIDIA is the top tier in terms of fucking customers up but uh, they are still doing the same, so customers need to stop buying these cards uh, so the companies actually understand that people are tired of this crap. Still, very, very good to see um, what the future can bring in terms of modding, because, well, as we can see, double the frame rates, or at least 50 to 60% increased frame rates with frame generation, which, if you're having 30 FPS, it is better to have 60 or 70 FPS with more input lag than just 30 FPS. That's my opinion. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe and share this video. Leave your comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about these results and what you think about the, the possibility of future mods enabling RTX, um, enabling the DLSS 3 uh, and frame generation in previous generation cards like the 2000 and 3000 series from NVIDIA. Let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll answer as fast as I can. Ciao.